Today we're talking about movie trailers. Let's go. Welcome to my nerdy little corner of YouTube. I am your host, Doug Croft. Today I want to look at some recently released movie trailers. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, Star Trek Beyond, The BFG, Independence Day 2, and Superman vs. Batman Dawn of Justice, and talk about them a little bit. First up is Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, the prequel movie to the Harry Potter franchise. Starring Eddie Redmayne, Samantha Morton, Colin Farrell, and Ron Perlman. Yesterday, a wizard entered New York with a case. Case full of magical creatures. And unfortunately, some have escaped. It was open? Just a smidge. Just come in. The trailer doesn't give us much footage to look at, but what there is to see is intriguing. Eddie Redmayne looks perfect for his role. The plot of the movie seems pretty simple. Creatures from the Wizarding World have escaped into New York City, and Newt Scamander has to round them back up. I'm not sure how well that will play without a villain working in opposition to him. Or maybe there is a villain and the trailer just doesn't bring it up. The thing I'd be most excited to see, though, is the Wizarding World outside of Britain. Here we get to look at the American Wizarding World. That may end up being the most fantastic part of the movie. Our next trailer is Star Trek Beyond, starring Chris Pine, Zachary Quinto, and Zoe Saldana. Is that music? It's a good choice. Hey, well played. We got no ship. No crew. How are we gonna get out of this one? We will find hope. In the impossible. Well, at least I won't die alone. Well, that's just typical. Let's hope this doesn't get messy. This is where it begins, Captain. This is where the frontier pushes back. What the hell is this? I know why you're here. Why we are all here. Uh, oh. Okay, let's never do that again. <laughs> From the trailer, it seems the Enterprise is destroyed on an exploration mission and the crew evacuates to a hostile alien planet. I'm not sure what to think about this third movie for the rebooted franchise. It looks like they will be very action-oriented compared to the first movie and the previous movie, Into Darkness. But as a longtime Trekker, I'm not sure that's the right move. Star Trek at its best gives us dilemmas to think about not just run and phaser fire action sequences. 
This trailer leaves me apprehensive about the movie. I hope they will remember that Star Trek fans are thinkers. Next up is The BFG, starring Ruby Barnhill and Mark Rylance, and directed by Steven Spielberg. It was the witching hour, when the boogeyman comes out. When people go missing. The girls say the witching hour arrives at midnight. I think it comes at three in the morning, when I'm the only one left awake. Like always, like now. Never get out of bed. Never go to the window. Never look behind the curtain. story begins. As a kid, I was a huge Roald Dahl fan and read all the books. And the first book of his that I read was the BFG. So this is a movie I've waited a very long time for. And this trailer for it was marvelous. It looks and feels exactly like I imagined it when I was reading the book for the first time as a kid. Spielberg's bona fides as a filmmaker are well established. This was also the final screenplay written by Spielberg's longtime collaborator, Melissa Matheson, before she passed away earlier this year. So I have to think that Spielberg will give it his all to make sure this movie stands as a tribute to her. A good trailer gives you a sense of what the final film will be like. And this one leaves me genuinely excited to think the film may be nearly as good as the book. Next, we have the trailer for Independence Day 2, starring Jeff Goldblum, Liam Hemsworth, and Bill Pullman. has declined to return for the sequel to the 1996 movie. I'm not sure if that meant he didn't like the script or he didn't like doing another sci-fi film. 
but other members of the original cast are returning, including Brent Spiner, oddly, since he was killed in the first movie. The aliens are back, and this time they have ships the size of continents, and so ships the size of cities. Humans have used alien technology to rearm themselves against the possibility of another attack. But the aliens have also upped their game. And once again, we will have a battle for Earth. This movie looks like it will be just as much fun as the first movie was. If you're looking for a good sci-fi popcorn movie and you enjoyed the first one, I think this will be good. And finally, we have the trailer for Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice, starring Henry Cavill, Gal Gadot, and Ben Affleck. That's it right there. There he is. Get a shot. Who's that? You must be new. That is Bruce Wayne. Mr. Wayne. Clark Kent, Daily Planet. What's your position on the Bat Vigilante in Gotham? Civil liberties are being trampled on in your city. People living in fear. He thinks he's above the law. The Daily Planet criticizing those who think they're above the law is a little hypocritical. What'd you say? Considering every time your hero saves a cat out of a tree, you read a puff piece editorial about an alien. You could burn the whole place down. Most of the world doesn't share your opinion, Mr. Wayne. Maybe it's Gotham City and me. We just have a bad history with freaks dressed like clowns. Boys! Hmm. Bruce Wayne meets Clark Kent. Ah, I love it. I love bringing people together. How are we? Lex. Hi, hello. Lex, it is a pleasure. Ow, wow, that is a good grip. You should not pick a fight with this person. You know the oldest lie in America, Senator? That power can be innocent. You're gonna go to war. That son of a bitch brought the war to us. You know you can't win this. It's suicide. The greatest gladiator match in the history of the world. Son of Krypton versus Bat of Gotham. It's a three-syllable word for any thought too big for little minds. It's time you learn what it means to be a man. Stay down! If I wanted it, you'd be dead already. If man won't kill God, the devil will do it. What have you done? She with you? I thought she was with you. <sighs> this trailer makes me feel like It's no secret that I was conflicted about Man of Steel. It had elements and scenes that I really liked, and then it had plot holes and parts of the script that I absolutely hated. And when Warner Brothers announced the casting of Ben Affleck as Batman, I had images of him as Daredevil matched together with George Clooney in a nipple bat suit running through my head. Not good things. And given my feelings about Man of Steel, I was worried already. And I'll also admit I'm not a fan of Jesse Eisenberg. So the announcement of him being cast as Lex Luthor was another blaring warning siren. And in this trailer, the best thing about it is Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman, who's not even a titled character. And from our first look at Doomsday, it looks like they recycled Abomination from the Incredible Hulk movie and gave him heat vision. My hopes for this movie are quickly sinking. I'm starting to think that perhaps Warner Brothers should have simply have skipped this movie and perhaps even the Justice League movie and simply gone with the Wonder Woman movie first until they learned their lessons from Man of Steel's flaws. Our time has once again passed and carried us to the end of this episode. Comment below on what you thought of these trailers. 
tapping the like and subscribe buttons is also appreciated. And tune in next time to see me visit the land of the giants and eat some snozberries. Thank <laughs> you.